Hi, it's Matthew Reed here from howtorepairpendulumclocks.co.uk and today we're going to be looking at how to knot natural gut line. This is the kind of thing that you'll find on European 18th and 19th century long case clocks. First, feed our line through the seat board of the clock. Then using a pair of smooth jawed flat nose pliers, hold the line about 40 millimeters or an inch and a half from the end and make a fold and crimp that fold nice and tight with the jaws of the pliers. Repeat this operation four to six times, depending on how large you want the final knot to be. Make each length of the knot as even as possible for neatness. Once you've made four, in this case, bends in the line, take the last bend you made and hold it in your left hand if you're right-handed that is and with the long end of the line fold it in on itself so the long end is trapped feed the folded part of the knot into the loop and pull it tight now rotate the assembly 180 degrees and repeat by making a loop folding in on itself with the open end of the line and feed the assembly through the loop pulling it tight. That's it, that's our traditional clockmaker's seat board knot or butterfly knot. Nice and strong, no pins nails, nuts, washers or dowels needed. It can easily be undone if you want to shorten the line or remove the clock movement from the seat board. The second part of our video we look at the winding barrel end of the line. First make a little kink a few millimeters from the end of the line. This makes it easier to feed through the barrel wall and out of the hole. Gently draw through enough line so you can make a knot. Be careful, bear in mind that the barrel wall is often sharp and might damage the line. Once you've drawn through enough free line, make a simple knot a couple of inches from the end. In this case I'm going to make a figure of eight knot. To make a figure of eight knot, make a loop in the line, fold the loop over, feed the end of the line up and through the loop, then pull the whole thing tight. Now to make it extra tight and less likely to pull through, Trap the open end of the line in the jaws of a vise. You can then use a pair of smooth jawed pliers to pull the whole thing really tight. Rather than cutting the tail end of the line, burn through with a flame. This causes the muscular fibres of the line to bundle up making a piece of line at the end that's slightly larger diameter than the rest. Again, so it doesn't pull through. Once you're happy with the knot, then gently feed it back into the barrel. The small amount of tail on the knot that you've left will prevent the knot from working its way out of the hole again. You often need to encourage the knot into the hole, in this case with a pair of pliers. There we are. So that's it. Both ends are now knotted and we're ready to go.